I'm, oh I'm, I'm rolling with it. <laughs> I know. Forks and forks. All right. Yeah. Um, okay, the story has to be all the way up and pretty much nothing else. Yeah. Uh, maybe we'll, the gameplay has to be a little uh, exciting, but oh. uh, we don't need any engine. It's just a text-based game. So Orcs and Forks <laughs> development stage one is done. Uh, something about Mars is doing really well, actually. Uh, so, so dialogues, obviously. Yeah, we don't we don't really need any of this. Maybe a little bit of AI. <laughs> Orcs and Forks. <laughs> uh, according to rumors, the Japanese company Ninvento uh, <laughs> is planning to launch its very own console. Uh, because of the Dinky successful King. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Dinky King. So many experts doubt that home gaming consoles will ever take off. So this is like really true to history. Yeah, there. Um, that's cool. Yeah, so it's definitely uh, it's definitely neat. Yeah, See, the points. We, are, yeah, yeah, we might we might hit our fifty research by the end of this anyway, so it's not a big deal. Um, I think sound? we just need really good sound. Okay. Uh, maybe a little bit of world design. Not really anything like. Um, basic sound and it's text based so we're all good uh, so it's not going to cost a whole ton to actually develop this uh, while we're still going strong here uh, almost 20k units oh there you go uh, so pretty wow. much 18 and it did 120 so, so 25 so it actually doubled uh, the last game that's really good all right so let's iron out these bugs uh, possibly let's get a little bit of technology yeah there you go and done uh, so I think we hit a design record. Yeah, sweet. Nice. Uh, so I don't know how much. It's a great combo, so apparently uh, it's going to be good. Yay! And then we start to level up. So when we level up, we're actually going to unlock a bunch more options, okay. and then we can research those. So we didn't actually quite get uh, the research points we needed, but that's okay. We'll save them for next time? Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll do another game, and then we'll just save it. Uh, so <laughs> the reviews for Orcs and Forks came in. We'll see how it... Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh shit. Uninspiring. It's the title. <laughs> Falls a bit short. Yeah, well. Uh, orcs and Forks. Not much fun. It's not. Uh, it's okay. Uh, well, I don't even. I, don't, I just want to get into a new game. I don't even want to do this. Um, okay. Alright, let's. We, we, gotta, we gotta forget that. We gotta put that behind us. Let's do sports. We're gonna do a sports, sports game. Yeah, let's do sports. Uh, so simulation. Yeah, would be the way to go. And G sixty four again. Yeah. A little bit more pricey, but it's okay. We'll have a bit more money. Mm -hmm. uh, so what kind of sports game? I'm just thinking about orcs right now. It can be an orc game. I know. What sports would orcs hockey. play? Hockey. We're, we're from Canada. It's got to be hockey. Yeah. Yeah. A. A. <laughs> okay. So we need a title. <laughs> so we need a hockey pucks and it doesn't always have to be pucks and whatever <laughs> I know we'll call it puck bunnies it'll be a female hockey game okay um, for those of you who aren't familiar puck bunnies are uh, kind of the hockey fangirls that go around um, it's gonna Pra be praising, graphics. praising uh, the hockey players and stuff. So we'll call. I didn't it... actually know that was a thing. Yeah, puck oh, bunnies. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were just making fun of Bugs Bunnies. No, no, puck bunnies are, are like oh. the the like fan like hockey fan girls. Okay, like cheerleaders for hockey, kind of. No, but uh, we lost a fan because of your orcs and forks. <laughs> so um, maybe Finally. beans and wieners will be happy. <laughs> <laughs> orcs and forks. Uh, Okay, gameplay up, engine has to be up as well. Yeah. Um, we always want this like gameplay to be engaging with something like this, obviously. Gameplay is everything. Because mm -hmm. you can't really do much with a sports game. Uh, so Ninvento has confirmed recent rumors and announced their plans to release it next year. Uh, so we're almost at the end of year one, actually. Wow, already, eh? Yeah. Uh, it goes quickly. That's crazy. This is uh, a cool game, though. Dis despite it's still selling 6,000, despite it being kind of poopy. Um, so that's good. Uh, AI has to be good, and level design will go like halfway. Okay. Uh, maybe like the announcers will we'll do something like that uh, for Puck Bunnies, the sports simulation game uh, or hockey game. Uh, yeah, we've lost a couple fans, but we're making up a little bit of money, so it's not a 
big deal, I suppose. Um, okay, graphics. graphics and some sound. Uh, we'll, we'll make it the sound like pretty good. Uh, maybe like that, and we'll put the yeah. graphics up. And I mean, how much world design can you do with like a hockey arena? So we'll just we'll put it down there, and uh, there you go. Graphics all the way up. We'll do that. And I think we're gonna hit milestones here for both design and technology, which is really yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, we'll iron the bug out. We'll wait. Are we good? I'll wait another week here. There you go. All right, we'll release this thing. So puck bunnies. Um, we got the research for an wow. for making an engine, awesome. uh, which is really good. And then the rest of these things that are level one should make it to level two. Um, eventually, you'll have like really big gaps because we focus on certain things more than another. Mm -hmm. um, so that that'll be all right. But uh, but for now, yeah, we're, we're we're losing fans, but it's not too bad. Uh, it's still selling. And uh, let's wait for the reviews for puck bunnies. It should be good. This should be a good one. Um, I'm hoping... It's enjoyable. Alright. It's better than nothing. Very good. Alright, we're back on track, I yeah. think. Yeah. <laughs> um, beautiful. Alright, there you go. So, <laughs> our Puck Bunnies hockey game uh, has a 7.5, so that's pretty good. I can't complain about that. Um... All right, Aww. so Orson Ford's just <laughs> whatever. Um, Eight point six thousand, uh, which isn't a lot, and we made sixty thousand, which was like almost double our budget for it. So I suppose that's pretty good. Um, yeah, see, Puck, wow. Puck Bunnies is ten thousand the first week. Okay, that's that's perfect. Um, okay, so we got to research. Yeah. And we'll check our engine, um, and we'll yeah, it hit nineteen the first week, so that's really yeah. good. Um, and it's steadily decreasing, but we've pretty much doubled our fans almost um, already, so that's really good. And then sometimes you'll get some weeks that'll just go uh, a lot higher uh, than the previous week, okay. depending how well it goes. So uh, it's awesome. Custom game is done, and the Ninvento is out, so we could actually make an Ninvento game. Really? Yes, we could. And we need to research the gamepad, actually, uh, because that is uh, our controller. Okay. So we'll research this for the Ninvento. Yep. And we'll use the last of our research points yeah. and a little bit of our money, and it's not too bad. I keep uh, wanting to say Nintendo. <laughs> I know. Well, it's okay if we say Nintendo and, and whatnot. So, uh, okay. But yeah, so every month there's a cost. See, it sold a little bit more there than the last week. Um, but every month we lose like 8000 because that's the cost of like keeping the studio up and okay. running and stuff like that. So that's how it works. Um, so Gamepad is done. Our, yeah, our studio, our garage. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so this is what oh. we can put in our game engine thus far. Wow. Um, there's not a lot of stuff, but if we really uh, want to, which makes sense, then we probably want to spend all the money okay. uh, to go in here. <gasps> what are we going to call it? What name would you like to call your engine? I don't know. Well... It's the very first engine. I know. So, call it whatever you like. <laughs> Xbox One. It's it's an engine, not a console. Oh. So, like what? An, an, an engine is like the Unreal Engine that okay. Gears and everything okay. runs on. Or Havoc, or all the different engines. Frostbite. Okay. okay. Crytek. <laughs> all those studios that okay, make the okay. engines. Alright, mm. so we need an engine name. It's Mars not... Bar. That doesn't make sense. Why not? It's called the Mars Bar. <laughs> we'll call it the Mars Bar 1 because we may make another Mars Bar <laughs> later on. Alright, so we're doing our engine. Uh, we should get some research points for this as well. Uh, Puck Bunnies is off. It sold $226,000 wow. in sales with 32,000 uh, units. So high five. That was the worst <laughs> high five ever. There you go. That, that one. That, that wow. Um, so yeah, so we have to research this, so it's going to take a little bit of time, okay. uh, which isn't a bad thing, really, because we are getting some research points, so we might want to do a new topic or something. Um, so it'll just be the first engine for now, just to like get off our feet and do yeah. something, but then, uh, don't, don't scratch your head, Chica. And, uh, and then once we can get enough money, we'll actually uh, 
be able to do some bigger projects. So I, I like was, this. I was this hoping cool. we get 20 research, but uh, your new game engine, Mars Bar 1, is now complete. So yeah. now, um, <laughs> well, let's research and see what we can do. Just new topics. Um, oh, boy. So not really anything there. Uh, we got some contract work. I guess we don't really need the money. We're pretty good money-wise. Mm -hmm. um, so, shall we do a new game? Well, yeah. All right. Um, the thing for this, though, if we want to uh, do it on the Ninvento, mm -hmm. uh, we actually have <gasps> to buy the license to make games off the Ninvento. Holy. Um, so it would set us back 80000 Let's do it. Then it, it costs 30000 to make the game, plus the uh. engine. So... We can do it. Yeah. Uh, we might go close to broke, but the money on the game should be enough. And this is a one-time fee, so. Uh, okay. Eighty thousand. Pick a topic. Um, pick a topic. Any topic. Mm. Uh, we haven't done a space game. Okay. We could do like a Mario in space or something, <laughs> if you'd want. Genre. So, uh, maybe adventure? like a space adventure game. Yeah. On the TS. I think kids would like space adventure games, because uh, this console is definitely, uh, <laughs> we've got the Mars Bar 1. You pick and, the title. Um, so what kind of game is it going to be, though? Like, like, do you have any examples of a game? No. 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 <laughs> the only thing I'm thinking about is some, like, arcade game I used to play when I was a kid. Do you know what It was that just, is? like shooting out spaceships and oh it was like, the, pew, pew. yeah there's a, a whole bunch of kind of like that air swing like arcade game that you get free with the xbox sure yeah um <laughs> i'm thinking it's more like metroid because that's like a space action adventure game sure you don't know what metroid is i know what it is Samus? i've never played it oh my god you're such a noob um so we'll call it asteroid attack asteroid asteroid attack yeah. Is that good? I think so. For space adventure? Yeah. Where asteroids are attacking the planet and you have to like make your way through different stuff so you don't die? Yeah. 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 Um, we'll do the better graphics here. Well, our yeah. version 2 graphics. And... Oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. Um, depending how much stuff we do here, we're going to start running out of money, uh, which is okay. It's not a big deal. Uh, okay, so we want the gamepad for sure. And I think save game. I don't yeah. think we need a story, right? Because it's just an adventure game. Uh, so gameplay has to be high and engine like middle. Something okay. like that. Um, maybe a little bit less even. Well, no, we'll, we'll, tr we'll try maxing those out. We'll try this. <laughs> okay. I'm giving it a shot. Uh, also gaining research, which is good. If we fail... And we go broke. Okay, so we don't need to spend any money for this. The AI has to be good. The level design has to be good. And uh, dialogue. Kids don't need so, good nah, dialogue. We don't, we don't need dialogues here. Uh, for Asteroid Attack, I think we're good. Uh, that actually reminds me of Dead Space, the little mini game in Dead Space where you oh, have yeah. to shoot some asteroids. Yeah. 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 Um, we will. If, Hated if we that go, part. if we go mono sound, we're going broke. Uh, Basic so, sounds. shall we go with basic sounds? Yeah, sure. Oops. Uh, world design has to be great. The graphics have to be pretty good. And sound, like, so-so. So, I think... I think Asteroid Attack might might be the one to, like... It it better be the one. Yeah, we're, well, let we're, it... we're going... I know, but we're going broke soon if we don't release this. Go! Nope. Hold on. Hold on. We went broke. Oh. <laughs> All right, design and technology, nothing good, but we got a bunch of research points, which yeah. is actually really, really good. Uh, not a great combo, but it is a new topic and new combo. Uh, don't know how that's going to do in the reviews. Hopefully it does, like, really well. Um, so our graphics are going up, and then oh, eventually nice. there'll be version 3, version 4, okay. and, like, so on and so forth. So that, that's kind of how that works. And um, we got to release it, because we got to make some money. Uh, the joystick is now available. And God, I hope Asteroid Attack is good. Cause if it's not, uh, we'll have, I quit. We'll have a little. Oh shit. <laughs> what? What are we supposed to do? Look at this. <laughs> I don't. I don't get it. 
I thought that was a great concept. I did too. What, what did we do wrong? I don't know. We're gonna lose a bunch of fans. I know. Is it gonna sell at all? Oh wow, no, it's barely selling. Oh my god. Make another game! I, we need money for another game! How do we get money? Oh. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god.